Hey guys, we're back with a mixed coin hunt here. This is going to be kind of a weird one because uh, I was at my dump bank. It was late in the day. I did not have enough time to go to another bank. Um, and I was dumping about 300 bucks in in the, uh, in the in my dump bank. And uh, the teller just asked, um, you know, do you want me to see if we have any coins that uh, you haven't hunted? And I said, sure, I'll take whatever you got. So um, uh, she was able to give me, um, it was not quite 300, a little, little under 300 um, a lot of the quarters are, are not in the picture here because um, I know I hunted them already. Um, I, I remember giving them to her the other day and uh, I looked at the ends and, the, and they were they were the, the uh, part of that collection dump that I, I had recently. So um, so I already set aside those. The quarters that you see here are the ones that I think I haven't uh, hunted yet. So. We're going to go through and see if I can find something. I don't have high hopes for the quarters, and I don't have very high hopes for the nickels, or at least the, uh, the, the, um, at least these ones over here. These ones I'm sure I haven't hunted, and these I don't think I have, so we'll see. These pennies I think I've hunted. These pennies I'm almost certain I have not. So that's, that's my hope there, is that we'll get something good out of the pennies. So, uh, let's get into it. Oh, and then these nickels up here are 2021, so... Uh, not going to be anything exciting in there unless we get a blank planchet. But let's go through them, see if we can find something. If uh, you're seeing this video, it means I found something at least worth showing. So uh, let's get into it, see what we can find. All right, as expected, I didn't find anything of interest in the uh, quarters. I did move on to nickels, and I'm on roll seven. I already did the, uh, that includes the four um, uncirculated rolls. But I did find this hold nickel and uh, I can't recall this may have been a roll that I've hunted before so I may have shown this nickel on my channel before but I don't recall so I figured it's interesting so if I have shown it before I apologize if not uh, it's an interesting find I'm not gonna hold on to it but uh, thought it was interesting enough to show all right let's keep going and see if I can find something uh, you know worth showing Okay, we've got a find in the nickels, finally. I'm on roll 13, I believe. And uh, I got a 1954 out of Denver, I think. Yep, 1954 out of Denver. So we made it on the board with some 50s, and I thought I'd show you this too. This is a 2020, but it's got like a gold look to it. It's kind of cool. I don't think I'm going to keep it, but... Uh, I kind of think it was probably an ender. That's just my guess. But nice looking coin, but uh, I'm not going to keep it. Just thought it was cool. All right, let's uh, keep going through this roll, and maybe I'll find something else worth showing. Okay, I didn't find anything else in any of the nickel rolls, so that was a pretty much bust other than the 150s we got there. But I'm on roll one of the pennies, and we got a wheat cent. I have not looked at the year yet, so let's figure it out together. Let me zoom in a little bit. Can't get that to focus. There we go. The 1945D, and nice. All right, so we're on the board of the 40s in the wheat sense. Let's hope we can find something else in here. Okay, I'm on roll five of the pennies, and we got a foreign. We got a 19, oh, 1951. Oh, it's a King George. Awesome. King George the sixth. Fantastic. I love these coins. 1951. Canadian cents. Very cool. I think this is only my third or fourth King George. That's pretty cool. That's a great shape, too. Might even upgrade my album. I'll have to check. Very nice, very nice. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, I'm on roll 11, and we got another wheat scent. It's a very nice one, so I'm going to guess it's the 50s. Ooh, it's a 1941. Wow, that's in great shape. Look at that. I'm shocked that's a 41. Very cool. All right, well, that's uh, uh, two in the 40s, right? What was this one? 45, yeah. 
41P and a 45D. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, same role as that uh, 1941 up here. We got a very nice Canadian. Look at that. 2006. I bet that upgrades my album. Very cool. It's funny, we got a really old Canadian in pretty good shape and a really new Canadian in fantastic shape. Pretty cool. Alright. Let's keep going. Okay, the next roll, I got another Canadian. It's a 1977. Pretty sure I have that one, but uh, I'll take it. Okay, we're on the next roll, and the first thing I noticed was there's a lot of copper in here, so I'm hoping there's some more wheat scents, but we did get one wheat scent. Got another 1944. No, no, not another. This is a 45, right? That's 45, yeah. So we got a 44. Out of Philly in really nice shape. Very cool. All right, let's get some more. Okay, I'm on roll 13 of the pennies. Just got a few more to go. And as I was going through here, I realized that there's a wheat scent right here. So let's get that out and reveal it's a 1956 out of Denver. That's our first 50s. Yeah, got three 40s and one 50s now. All right, let's see if we can find a few more. What is this in the end? That was the, just a 61. Okay, I think this is about two rolls later on the pennies. And uh, we're really racking up the foreigns here. This is kind of funny. I went to go grab this little stack here, and I couldn't get the bottom penny. And then I looked at it, and I saw Queen Elizabeth there. And then realized I was holding a foreign. So we've got a one new penny from the UK, and it is a 1971. Cool, I like these coins. They're cool looking. Alright, let's keep going. Okay, I'm on roll 27, and uh, just laid out this roll, and on the end was a wheat scent. Couldn't see it, of course, because it's a customer wrapped roll, but we did get another wheat scent. And it is, ooh, a 1946, sticking with the 40s. Nice. It's pretty good shape, too. Look at that. Very nice. All right, let's uh, keep going. I got this roll and three more to go, and then that'll be it. Okay, we're on the last roll, and we got another wheat scent. Very last roll. Looks kind of worn, so I'm hoping it's old. 1940. Yeah, that's pretty old. Very nice. Alright, that's a... Uh, that's our, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six wheat scents. Not bad. Alright, let's go through this last little bit, and then we'll do a, do a wrap-up. Okay, finished hunting all those rolls, and uh, as expected, I didn't get anything from the quarters that I uh, this is worth showing. Um, I'm about ninety percent sure that all of it was uh, stuff that I'd already hunted, uh, being that it was from my dump bank. And like I said, normally I wouldn't pick that up, but um, I didn't have time to go to any other banks, so I thought, you know, why not? I give it a shot. Um, but it did pan out with the pennies and the nickels. Well, the pennies. For sure, the nickels, not so much, but uh, the nickels, we got one find. Got a 1954 out of uh, Denver. And then the pennies did really well. We got f uh, five out of the 40s and one out of the 50s. We got a 1940 out of Philly, 1941 out of Philly, 1944 out of Philly, 1945 out of Denver, 1946 out of Philly, and 1956 out of Denver. And then the foreigns, we did really well too. We got the one new penny from the UK, 1971. We got the uh, King George VI, uh, 1951 Canadian penny, and the 1977 Canadian penny. And then we got this beautiful 2006 Canadian penny um, that will likely upgrade my album. 
So uh, I'm going to do a couple things real quick. I'm going to add these four to my foreign map. Um, obviously we're not going to have any new flags because the, I have lots of can Canadian coins in there already. And uh, UK is nothing surprising. But um, So I'll add those. I won't bother showing the map because you know we've already seen these these uh, be added but um, I will add that and I will go check my album and see if uh, see if if I need any of these or if they're upgrades all right I'll be right back okay I got my uh, Canadian um, penny album out and I did upgrade my 2006 it was definitely an improvement uh, let's see if I can find it real quick that was all it's upside down but that's a that's that's the new one right there and uh, here's the old one it's not bad but it's the, the other one that we just found is way better so oh no I'm sorry this is it on the corner right here it keeps turning upside down when I slide it in there so that's okay though all right but I didn't get to fill any holes I did check the other ones as well and they weren't upgrades but uh, I will hold on to them and uh, that'll wrap it up. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next coin hunt.